What does Arts Memphis do? We award over 150 grants per year to over 60 local art groups and artists. Totaling nearly 3 million annually and more than 40 million in the last 10 years. All thanks to 1,100 generous donors and counting. Visit artsmemphis.org to become a donor today. Jimmy Jameson of Survivor, Johnny Taylor, Ann Peebles, Charlie Pry, and Charlie McLean were among the Memphis area artists that produced a wide variety of outstanding music during the 70s and 80s. Every Tuesday evening from 8 to midnight, 1970s and 80s music from the Bluff City is featured on FM 89.3 WYPL. truth is, I literally fell in love with radio. You know how you fall in love with a person? Uh -huh. I fell in love that, that way in radio. And I'm a kid living in West Memphis, Arkansas with my little transistor radio, uh, listening to Jack Buck called Cardinal Baseball. Jack would paint a picture of the stadium, the smell of the food, you know, the people that were there, and how far center field is, and, but he was so casual about it. And I'm a kid with my imagination sparked, and I, I knew then I love that. That's what I want to do. I got I got into yoga really from running. I'm, I run, I bike, I okay. swim. I always tell people breathe because it is, believe it or not, the one thing that people can tend to forget is just breathe. You know, it, even in, in relation to work, regardless of what I'm doing, mm -hmm. you know, that's why I say you know, yoga is life, art is life, because it's the one thing that I must remember to do is always pause and breathe. There's some incredible things in here in the, in the Memphis Rock and Soul Museum. This is the history of Memphis music, WDIA, which is um, for those people, for those of us who grew up here and those who did not, it is truly part of the Memphis culture. Kids would be listening. And what I heard from, who are their adults now, and they would tell me, you know, you, help, uh, you really helped me through being a teenager because I would listen, I was like a companion. Although they didn't know me, I was like a companion. And I get that because that was the same thing I experienced as a kid. And so when I hear that, it's always so gratifying to know that this is why I got into radio. I am a community builder. And my, my purpose for, for building community is because I live here. I'm invested here. And, and it is the arts that bring us all together.